Hey everyone, Jade here and I am back again with another video. So I have been getting a lot of requests recently for creating a dedicated video regarding my key mapping in PUBG PC Lite. To those of you who don't know, I have already created a video regarding that in the past but since then I have changed a couple of things as I progressed in the game as per my requirements and today I will show you the mappings that I currently use as of now. Now keep this in mind that the mapping shown in this video is what I am used to so it may be possible that you might not agree with me regarding their placements. In that case, as said, check out the video from the description box below. But before that, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like playing PUBG Lite because that's what this channel is all about. Now let's begin. So for your ease of understanding, I'll reset every key binding back to the default value so that you can follow along easily. I'll be leaving most of the default values as they already are and just be tweaking a few of the keys which I feel are difficult to use at the default value. So the first change that I'll be making is that of aim down sight aka ADS and map it with the right click. Now once you do that, head over to the controls tab and change the value of ADS from toggle to hold. This will make you scoping in and out way faster and efficient than before. This is something which I'll recommend everyone to try at least once, I'm sure you'll be impressed. Now those of you wondering about the aim key, I basically don't use it and hence no key mapping for it. Next change that I make is to replace the cycle firing mode key which is B and holster weapons key which is X with one another. I do that since cycle firing mode key is used in more tight situations where you need to act really fast and X is a key which is more reachable than B. So swapping these values makes it easier and faster for me to react in tight situations where I need to toggle between firing modes. Next up, I change the world map key from M to V so that I don't have to lift my arm to open the map as M is really far away. Those of you thinking, V is the key which is used to change the perspective from first person mode to third person mode, so it shouldn't make any difference if you are an FPP player as that key was useless earlier. Also, I will recommend to change the map from toggle to hold from control tab so that it's easier for you to take a quick peek at the map at any instant. Next up is the throwables wheel and heal items wheel which I have placed at thumb mouse button 1 and thumb mouse button 2 respectively, which are two additional keys which you can find in almost every gaming mouse whether it's cheap or expensive. It makes it a lot faster for me to use any heal items or throwables without any issues. And finally, the latest change that I've made is the seat changing key in a vehicle. Now I'm not a drive-by expert. In fact, I've not even got an opportunity to do even a single drive-by. But now, I'm kinda interested in order to learn the technique and it just isn't possible with the default key mapping. So what I've done is change the driver seat binding from Ctrl plus 1 to Shift plus W. Seat 2 from Ctrl plus 2 to Shift plus E and Seat 3 from Ctrl plus 3 to Shift plus Q. This makes it possible for me to change seats really fast and with proper practice, probably in future I can do some awesome drive-bys. So these were the only changes that I make to the default key bindings in PUBG PC Lite. You can adapt to any one or two or maybe all of the key bindings as per your liking. So this was it for today. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more PUBG PC Lite related content and live streams. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, cheer out.